Before we have the NVC or the National Visa Center update, let's try to decode first what our case ID or case number really means. So case number has three letters followed by 10 digit numbers. The three letters indicate the embassy and 2020 that is the year in which case was created. The next three digit numbers indicate the number of case which was created in this category. For example, that is the 750th case that has been created in K-1 visa category in that particular year which is 2020. And 030, the last three numbers indicate the number of case which was created at embassy. So that is the 30th case in that particular embassy. Now let's have the NVC update. So once USCIS approves your I-797 or once USCIS approves your petition, they will send your case to the National Visa Center for processing. At NVC, they will create your visa case and enter the data from your petition into the system. After creating your case, they will send you instructions for processing as well as a welcome letter that includes your case number and invoice ID number. You will use these numbers to log into their consular electronic application or the sayak.state.gov website. So you have to keep that welcome letter in a safe place because you will need those information to log into SEAC throughout the entire visa process. Let's have the current case file creation time. As of March 21, they are working on cases that were received from the USCIS on March 7, 2022. When it comes to the current case review time, as of March 21, 2022, they are reviewing documents submitted to them on December 21, 2021. And when it comes to the current public inquiry form response time, as of March 21, 2022, they are responding to inquiries received on February 1, 2022. So they will update the information on their website every week and they ask that you make a subsequent inquiry only if you do not receive a response to your email within their published time frame. Duplicate inquiries slow their ability to respond to you in a timely manner. And as of March 18, 2022, most of the in-transit or case-ready status are those that have know what to from July to December 2020. So let's hope na sana magtuloy-tuloy na yung pag-send out nila ng mga documents kasi hindi pa lahat ng from year 2020 na approval ay naisend na yung kanila mga documents sa Manila Embassy. Meron pa rin yung mga hindi pa, hindi pa rin in transit or case ready yung kanilang status. So, sana talaga magtuloy-tuloy na yung interview sa Manila Embassy para naman makasunod na din yung mga 2021 filers. So, that's all for today's video and thank you for watching.